All right, solve this equation. Okay. Well, these are both common logs, uh, which means, and by the way, this kind of introduces a new um, rule for us. And this would be the quotient property for logarithms. Um, if we have, like in this case, log base b of x minus log base b of y, it's the same as taking the log base b of x divided by y, which is why it's the quotient rule on this one, okay? Now looking back, we also have the power rule as well, because we have two times that log of that common log of x. So I'm going to change this one first to be log of x squared minus the log of x, which equals 3. And there is a purpose for that being x squared, because we are going to use the quotient rule. So these two, since this was a difference of logs with the same bases, we really have the common log of x squared over x, right? Which is equal to the 3. And inside there, we can cancel out one of the x's. So that would give us log of x equals 3. And if I change this into exponential form, I get x equals 10 to the power of 3, which is 1,000. That one worked out pretty good. This two became the exponent for that x right there. And that's part of that rule, right? Where if we have the log base b of xy, the product rule there. I'm sorry, I need the power rule, so it's Where x. Where does it even get the y from though? Oh, because two is technically the y. Yeah, two is the y, so it's, it's kind of going this way. It's the same as y times the log base b of x. So yeah, I kind of did this in reverse order where I took the y and made it the exponent there.